in your clinical background, I want to get your take on ODAC's recommendation um, against accelerated approval for a PARC inhibitor um, and the FDA's final decision. Um, well, uh, the drug is known as Erlaparib. Uh, I couldn't possibly disagree more with the uh, determination of the um, the review committee. I, I I don't know that the you know the FDA is, is best to my knowledge has not made a. I mean, we, we don't hear what the FDA says often. Uh, my understanding is they've said do more research, do more uh, studies. I, I think the the data on this particular drug is overwhelming. They were as a randomized phase two study and a lot of data that supported it basically showed that one could almost triple the time to disease progression in a randomized trial um, in, again, a very specific setting with the use of um, this agent versus, um, uh, in this case, it was a, a placebo control. But I think in addition to that, um, I have a fundamental uh, disagreement with the approach that um, medical individuals as um, expert as they may, may be, and of course I would put myself in that category. I've been involved in ovarian cancer research for the last 30 years, I've said, but I would say that these decisions on um, risks versus benefits in the setting of a truly life-threatening situation should be made by the patients and their families. 